Hey guys, Mitchell Davison here. Um, I was just coming to explain my fishing setup, the way I've rearranged my lures and stuff. So actually, I've just what I've done is I've got two thin rolls of foam, like thin things. I've zip tied them, rolled them up, zip tied them, and then held them down with sing, 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 blah, 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 singers down there. And um, is that camera a bit blurry? Oh man, Mitchell, you just you made him went that made that great, didn't you? That's better. Um. Oh yeah. So anyway, and so I've rolled those up, zip tied them, and just hang them off the side of the cabinet. And then I've got these all these loos. So these are crankbaits I got off AliExpress for perch. I've got some Tobies and a spinner that I got off AliExpress. The spinners and I mean the Tobies I didn't get off AliExpress. I got the Shimano Waxwing Kingfish. Lure. I got this, my dad got this for me from America, I believe it's a Savage Gear Baby Bass. Got this Whopper Plopper imitation from All Blue on AliExpress. It's pretty nice. Um, I got this from America. I got this from America. I got this from AliExpress. And I got this from America. And I got this from AliExpress. As you can see, these are the New Zealand lures. There's these ones. And all the rest are American based. So you can see the tr difference between lures in New Zealand and America. A lot different. It's because we have smarter fish, I think. <laughs> anyway, here's my terminal tackle up here. I've got my jig here with softies and stuff like that. And then this little box under it is what I pack all my day stuff in. So if I'm going out for a day, I'll just pack all my stuff in there. Got a rod bag from Casking. I've got my licenses for freshwater because in New Zealand you don't need licenses for the saltwater. It's pretty mean and we have a pretty good fisher as well. Got heaps of hooks, 22 shells. And yeah. Woo. I'll see you when I explain my reels and rods and stuff. Mine. Yeah. I just, I've got a, so I've got a casking rod. And I've got the casking little thing for that there. I quite like casking, eh? And I just found my other, my Shimano Waxwing, which has been pretty beat up. Good fish in that one, eh? Yeah, and then I'll just go through. Just pretend like my room is not messy at all. So this is my little action camera that I film on. Yeah, I've... My sister lets me use her um, Canon something or other big camera, but when she, my other sister's got that in America at the moment. And that's what I've been using right now. I'm on my mum's S8 because my phone's pretty crap at filming. But anyway, so I've got I've got some fly fishing. These are my drawers. I've got some fly fishing gear in this top drawer. I've got tri flies on that side, and I got big streamery type of things in there. I've got some jigging ones. I got a little fly box. Jigging sets made up for like Taupo. Made by Pat Swift. Yeah, the boys. And then in this reel, I've got in this thing, I've got my reels. I've got my this one. It's a, I can't even pronounce it, eh? it's a Finnor Biscayne 8000. It's got 80 pound braid on it as you need, as, as you can see it needs to be spooled up again. Anyway, that's that. And then I've got this Shimano, it's got, I mean, it's got a hook on it. It's this Casking Spartacus Plus. Yes. Quite like the Spartacus, I mean the Casking brand. As you can see by this next reel, I've got the Casking Mallard 2, 2, 2,500 size. I've got a Bait Runner 4,000, 4,500 Shimano use, standard Shimano Bait Runner. It's got the Bait Runner thing on there. Yeah. That's not that bad. And I've got a broken Shimano. I can't find the sport. It's got 8 pound braid on it. Oh. So that's got 20 pound nylon, which I'm going to respool with 30 pound braid, 80 pound braid, 10 pound depth finder suffix braid, 20 pound Luma green um, casking braid. And then I've got this old Shimano BC 200 reel, which used to have some 20 pound braid on it for jigging, but then that broke. Yeah, oh, I've got another reel as well. I'll just go. Sh but um, anyway, that's salt water, salt water. I've used these two in salt water, but they're more freshwater reels. This was a freshwater reel, but I've got another reel that I've got to show you. Okay, see. I've also got this Shimano Cassius 
jigging real to the 200 size. Yeah. You? Well, my mystery room, I've also just found this. Tichum High Durable Triple Construction Made in Japan Shimano. 20 pound. 25 pound? Oh, it's 25 pound on that line. Right, I'm real. Yeah. You. Um, and then I've got this nice Shimano rod bag that came with a rod that I got, and I'll just go show you my rods now. Down in my garage. Um, what do I have here? So I've got this is a thing because I've been making some burly. I've got a rod, I mean, a knife thing down there. Oh, look, there's a spool for that broken Shimano thing with the cap over there. Need to fix it. Um, this was a saltwater box, but we don't do much, me and my dad don't do much saltwater fishing anymore. We're getting back into it now that well, when summer comes back around, we're planning a trip up to Waihi, which I'll probably take you guys on. I've got some just spoons and spinners and stuff in there. Hooks. Yeah, we'll, so we'll get into more into the kingy type side of things. Anyway, well, I've had that box since it was tiny. Over here, I've got a net. Yes, oh look, there's some warm line in there. The knife. Um, 13 foot surf caster there. What's the thing? Oh, nothing for the end of it. Um, Rapala. Don't know why these are over here. Rapala electric scales. So I tell you that I've got some burly making. Well, this is some burly that I'm making for an upcoming Trevally trip, which I'll probably bring you guys on. And then here's my rod rack over here. So I've got this cut down Shimano Katana bait caster. My cast king. How does this? Can someone tell me how to say that? Here I don't know. It's a casking bait caster rod. Nice. Some beast there. And then I've got this Shimano Eclipse jigging rod for Taupo bait caster, of course. And then my original fishing rod, the Shimano Kid Stick, which is snapped and I had to put a tip on it because it's like my all time rod. And then I had this. Also, oh, that one's probably like five foot. That's six foot. I'll just check it. This is two piece by the way. Um, where is it? It came with two tips, but it broke one of the other tips. Come on, focus. Here we go. Is that, I don't even, is that 198 centimeters? I don't even know. Well, that's how tall that is. So that's like, that's pretty decent because I think this, the Shimano Eclipse, is a six foot rod. That's six foot medium action, I think, and that's a. Shimano Eclipse Pack Cast. Six foot, yeah, line weight, eight to four kilo. I think that's like 15 to 20 pound line rating. It's in New Zealand, we don't have the line ratings, we have just the like how much, how heavy the fish is. Then I've got this six foot four, oh no, it might be seven foot. Seven foot, I think. Oh, I just hit the tip on the roof. Slow down, oh no, that's not good. Okay, it's not broken, that's good. Um, yeah, seven foot, four piece, two to five kilo, two to twelve gram casting weight. That's a light rod. That'll come in handy when I go down to Twizzle. And then, my beefiest rod is this. Oh, this is a pain to get back into, I've taken it out now. This uh, medium action length, eight foot, ugly stick. The line rating is 16 kilo. This is an ugly stick. Chicks be gold. Nice stick bait rod. And yeah, that's all my rods. And that's all my fishing gear, I guess. My brother's got a bit of my fishing gear, like a rod, two rods down south. And my fly got, well, my fly rod. Oh, come on, get back in there. And if you're wondering what rod your holder I use, it is a. I'm sorry, I'm just putting this back in. This is a real struggle. That'll be good enough. I'm using a hunting and fishing signature one when I got my fly rod. Um, well, might as well do a bit of a garage tour. <laughs> I've got my mountain bike. It's Infanti Torrent S1 2014 or 13. I don't actually know. Um, got this net. Yeah. Got my mate's um, st got my mate's rod bag down there. He's from Australia. I've got. Boogie boards, skim boards, more nets. What else do I have? I have some 
balls. Got my sister's car over. Knife. Um, and apart from that, I don't think I've got much more. So, yeah. Cheer the bros. I'll have a look around and see if I can find any more fishing gear. But if not, that'll be me video. Now I'm back in my room. Look at that. Set up. Oh, yeah, the boys. Got my messy desk that I need to clear so I can put some more fishing lures on. Oh, look. Ah, oh, it fell down my crap. Oh, I've got some amount of... Sorry, I stopped the filming on accident. I got my amount of I can have it. I promise this is the last thing. Last thing. I've got my bow up here. I've got another helmet. I've got my hunting bow up there, my compound bow. And yeah. Anyway. That'll be all. Sure. See you later. See you in the next video. Go do a Dravelli miss on Saturday, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want me to do a video on explaining like all of my different rods and stuff, like just like if I wanted to do, if I want to do a just a single rod, tell me what I should do, and I'll do it. Or I might just go over all of them because you guys probably won't tell me what you want because I've only got one subscriber. You. See you later. We're gonna go do a Trevally missions.